Hi, this is Gail from Life and Splatters, and I thought I'd start this video with a little bit about how I mix my paints. Uh, I will list the names of these paints in the description box, but I'm trying out three of the new Arteza Pearl colors. There's a turquoise, a pistachio, and another sort of sea green, and molten metals by Chroma, their copper color. So I've added equal amounts of each of these paints into the cups. The Arteza paints are heavier body than the Chroma. You can see that because it's sort of sitting in a lump like toothpaste. And the Chroma is a little more liquid. So I'm going to add probably three times the amount of Floetrol to paint for the heavy bodied. And I'm going to add also three parts Floetrol to the Chroma, which is the more liquid viscosity paint. Now, I really do enjoy the mixing of paints. I wa love watching the color become more vibrant as the paint pigments mix into the pouring medium, which in this case is Floetrol. I have to add, there's a squirt of water to the three that were heavier bodied to get them to the right consistency, which is just a mound, just a mound that then goes away because I'm going to do an open cup pour. For open cup, we do need it to be a tad thicker than we would for my uh, swipes. Now with the copper, this first, first time I've used the chroma of molten metals, I found that it looked washed out once I mixed it with the Floetrol, so I add more of the paint. And that's always an option. If you think the uh, color isn't saturated enough for yourself, add a little more of the paint to your mixture. And I'd like to give a shout out to my friend Kathleen Osmore of Cause Creations. It's only because of her going above and beyond that these paints were able to make it into Canada. Uh, thank you, Kathleen. Just another helpful tip. I think it's important to double check your consistency right before you pour. Uh, I've mixed these paints. Uh, they're not going to sit very long, but some of them did thicken up a little bit just before I went to use them. And so you can always adjust accordingly if they have. And that was a moment of silence to totally appreciate the magnificent chemistry of paint. Wow, did those colors ever work well. Uh, this is an open cup pour. The canvas was flooded with black paint mixed with Floetrol and a bit of water. Uh, I've tilted it to spread the cells out a little bit and to shape it. 
Um, and now it's going to be a lot of schmearing and tilting and schmearing and tilting until he becomes what he's supposed to be. At first I thought he was a bird. He did look very much like a bird. But I tilted him forward and you'll see that copper area behind his head actually compressed quite nicely and I started to see him more as a dragon. Uh, and I put an eye, as you see right there, I did a dab of white and then I did a little, or dab of black and then a little dab of white. And then I realized, uh, and you will see further down the road, he has his own eye develop, his teeth, that happened in the pore. I didn't, I didn't add them. Um, he's coming along very nicely. I'm starting to see that he looks much more like a dragon than a bird so I'm going to work with it and it's when I do these uh, sh smears in the copper they end up making it look like wings and he, he really is starting to look like a reptilian creature dinosaurish So my black paint is Artist Loft Flow Acrylics from Michaels. And this is the second time that it has shown this dimpling in the surface. I used no silicone anywhere near this painting, but when I poured the black base coat onto the painting, I could see all these little divots as if there was silicone. And I don't know if it's happened to any of you. That's the second time it's happened to me. And I don't know, I don't know how to explain it. So this is my steampunk dragon. I want to thank you all for your support and your comments. I am sometimes taken aback completely by some of the beautiful things that you write. Um, there's a few I haven't responded to because it just felt too immense to deal with. Uh, I'm humbled. Thank you very much for coming by. Thanks.